Hi everyone, welcome back to the Model 3 Man channel. And look what arrived in the mail for me this week. A few weeks back we announced the release of the brand new Jetta product and that is the integrated Jetta SSD which is an SSD drive 256 gig in capacity with magnetic clip-on connectors to eliminate the need to clip and unclip your drive. I said to you that I had one evaluation unit on the way and as soon as it arrived I'd have a look at it, provide some information about the installation if there is any and answer a few questions that came up in the initial review. So it comes very much like an Apple product, nice little box, lift it up and <sighs> comes out with a little bit of a suction. This is really a replacement cover for a USB hub. So let me answer three quick questions that came up in the comments a few times. People saying, well, what do I do with just this cover? Where's the hub? The hub is purchased separately. The USB hub which works both in the Model 3 and the Model Y, is a separate purchase and it originally just had a flat plastic cover without this drive on the back. It was just a cover. You put it on. You could put a flash drive or a thumb drive or an SSD drive inside that hidden compartment and you could put the cover over it. But people complained about plugging it in and unplugging it and all of the things you'd have to go through in order to get the drive in and get the drive out. Hats off to Jetta. They have absolutely superb manufacturing. This is magnesium cover here to dissipate heat because obviously with any drive heat builds up, especially in a closed compartment. This is bolted on beautifully, securely. The magnetic connector is great. And notice that there's a little red bracket right there. Don't go taking it off. Well, if you take it off, put it back. And here's why. When you fit it back on the panel it clips into place. If you take that away and the cable straightens out this tiny magnetic connector that goes into the solid state drive may not be close enough. You can see here that even if it's a little bit far away it still jumps and clicks and connects. Very very beautifully sealed solid state drive 256 gig. Brian on i1 Tesla showed that you can actually open this up. I don't recommend you go and do that but if you wanted to put in 512 or one terabyte it's just one single chip that slides into the slot and gets bolted down onto the board inside here. So I'm guessing that in time if the product is successful Jetta will be offering different capacities and that's excellent. Then I had a third question it related to the formatting and this is very confusing. It talks about the card and it says it's an XFAT M SATA SSD drive. And then in the instructions on the website, which you can see right here, it just says to get started, simply create a folder called Tesla Cam or put it in your car and format the drive. Car controls, safety and security, format USB drive. That's how you'd find it. So that's very misleading because it says to get started, just create the Tesla Cam folder. Well, when I connected my unit that I just received, it just said drive is not initialized. Do you want to initialize? And when I went into disk utility on a Mac and I had a look at it, it did not show any basic format. I was under the impression and the website actually says that it is an XFAT MSATA card and you just create the folder. That's not what happened here. Not a big deal. And you know what? You can avoid all of that simply by plugging it into your Model 3 or Model Y using the command under car controls, safety and security, format USB drive. And it's easy. It's just done. Currently I have a 500 gigabyte drive made by Samsung. I partitioned it into two separate partitions. On the one partition was the folder that I created called Tesla Cam. In the other partition I created a folder called music and I filled it with music. Brian tried to format this into two partitions on his Mac and failed. So I don't know exactly whether it can be done or not but I'm going to jump onto the computer in just a moment and we'll try and partition this. Wipe out whatever's on here, try and create two partitions, music on the one, um, Tesla cam on the other. What goes into this? 
dash cam footage, and sentry mode captures. Now, there was an issue with how to connect this. I thought from the literature and from the install guide, all you had to do was take this and plug it in. And I figured with this magnetic action here, perhaps it's strong enough so that when you put the cover in, this locks into the USB port. It doesn't. So you don't just put this cover back in. What you do is remove that, put it into the USB slot in your USB hub. And then, because it's sitting in that way, when you bring this up, it just clips on. And, and that is beautiful. So it clips on. There, you can see it there. And it works well. But you do have to clip that in first. And if you're going to take it out of your car to bring it to your computer, you have to unplug that from within the USB hub. And when I take this inside, the purpose will not be for safety or for storage. It'll be to pull the files off here and check them on my computer, browse through them and perhaps use some of them in the channel. What do I need to connect this to the computer? Well, I need this little cable. What about this cable having a little clip on it? Yeah, it does make it awkward. So you've got that and you're trying to lift this whole object and stick it in the back of your computer? Won't work. Many people will not do that. They'll view the video footage on their car and you can do that in the car. For those of you who want to take it out regularly and connect, I suggest a USB extension cable. Very simple, lots of them around. And you just plug the female end of the USB onto here and the male into the back of your computer. This is way too short and too awkward to stick it into the back of any computer, even if you take that off there. Look, the act of twisting it breaks the joint on the drive. But that takes nothing away from the fact that this is an absolutely beautifully integrated product. It looks more like an OEM product than anything I've ever seen. Let's go on the computer and see if I can format this with two partitions and you can enjoy your own music. Here we are in the um, disk utility on my iMac. Down there is the drive, J Micron Tech Media. I just named it Jetta SSD, which is obviously quite logical. Capacity 256. It is a single partition. So I'm going to try, first of all, just to partition it as it is, but I think I might have to erase the drive and start again. But let's give it a try. Device information, it's an XFAT f partition, as we said to you. That's the only format that will work with your Model 3 or Model Y. Let's have a look. If we add, well, you see, we cannot. The plus sign is normally available to us, but at the moment it's not. With the disk already formatted, it looks like we cannot do it, but um, why don't we try getting out of there? I'm going to erase it and format it in a completely different format. I'll call it Jetta SSD. Let's just Leave it formatted as APFS. Erase the whole thing. Doesn't take long. It's just mounting, deleting the original format and creating. Now I know this is not XFAT, but I'm going to create partitions which I want to format as XFAT and we'll see if that works. Operation successful. Done. So here we are. So I'm going to try and partition this. There, the plus sign is available. Add a partition. And look at that, it's split it, divided 50% down the middle. What format do we want it to be? XFAT. Let's call it Tesla Cam, but you know that there has to be a folder. So I'll just call it Tesla Cam. There does have to be a folder on that partition by that name, but uh, that'll come later. So let's just try and apply that format. Partitioning will change some of the partitions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it. When it's done, I'm going to try and format the other partition in the XFAT as well. So let's just take a look at this and see what we actually have. It failed. Applying changes, running operation one of two, adding Tesla cam by shrinking container, failed. An internal error has occurred and the disk for one of the specified operations could not be found. Try again. Yeah, let's try again. Okay, there's our Tesla cam. So what if we erase the information in that? There we go. Now we'll choose Format. <laughs> it doesn't allow us. Um, let's think about this. Let's go to the other partition and see if I can uh, erase that one. 
No. See, that? that is the problem. Why don't you go back and try something else here? I'm going to erase the whole drive. Mac OS extended and see if we can do a little work around there. Let's look at um, master boot record this time. Erase. When that's finished, we should have just one partition and then we'll split that up. Okay, that's done. So we'll click on that untitled. We'll go... Uh, ah, it doesn't allow a partition. Let's erase it again and change it to XFAT. Done. Let's get onto here and partition is not available. Let's try one more time. We're going to format as XFAT. Use that type of partition. Like that. Erase that. That's fine. Partition. Now you see so... Brian from I1 Tesla, you're right. It doesn't seem we can do it. Forget about using this for music as well. It's going to be for your dash cam or your sentry cam. Well, after all of that, I went back into the disk utility because I do hate to be beaten. And I cannot recall what I did. And there's a complete collection of shadow volumes. And this looks completely wrong. It does not look like it can possibly work. Excepting that, when I go out of utility and I jump into Finder, I see a music partition of 128 gig XFAT. Let's try Tesla Cam. Right click. Get info, put them next to each other. Alrighty, so there it is. Music, XFAT 128. Tesla Cam, XFAT 128. So, Brian, somehow it can be done. Just persevere. I did start by formatting the entire drive as APFS, and then I fiddled with creating a partition, changing the format. Not quite sure why it didn't work the first time, but second time around, I actually got it to work. So there we go. Why don't we put some music into that folder? Go to music, American Standard. Those are the James Taylor songs I've loved and played for a long time. We're going to drag American Standard into the music folder. There it is, virtually done. And we'll take that out to the car. So let's go have a look here. We've got one partition, Tesla Cam. We need to create that folder called Tesla Cam. Tesla Cam, there it is. Music has that album. Let's eject them. It'll ask if we want to eject them all. Yeah, we do. That means both partitions. So I have the unit, Jetta SSD, ready to put it in. You'll see down the bottom there. That is the hidden chamber. And of course, the black cover is gonna close that up and it'll be pretty much invisible. What are those two cables? Well, they're going up to the wireless charging pad. Charge on both sides. That's also a Jetta product. Here's the unit. What I have to do is just to disconnect the uh, magnetic connector here. And I'm going to install that down in the hub. Note that that little metal connector is in place to keep the cable positioned correctly for an automatic connection. And I'm just going to, I'm going to reach down there push it up it's not too difficult it's in place you can see that the ma magnetic connector is just lying in the approximate position where the drive will connect you will notice at the top of the touch screen that it does not have the dash cam icon because it does not have a USB drive at the moment when I connect it the proof that it's connected will be if that dash cam icon appears between sentry mode and the home link Remember that the little red dot goes down the bottom left. Okay, it locks into place. And there it is. Look at that. The little camera symbol appeared. So that means the connection was great. Magnetically, it just jumped into place. That really was easy to install. It's working, but did the car recognize the second partition, the music partition? Well, we'll only know by seeing if the word USB appears in the music sources. And there it is. And there are the songs. Artist, just one. Album, 
Just American Standard. Actual songs, that's beautiful. See if they play. How many seconds do you have to play before YouTube strikes you down with copyright? So there it is. That worked. The car recognizes the music partition. The car recognizes the Tesla cam. Let's prove that it's working. I'm going to go and tap on that. I'm going to say save footage. Done. Little icon goes green, then it goes red. It's now recording. How about viewing it? Launch the viewer. Oh, that's amazing. There's the car. And there it is there. Wow. Left, right, rear, front. That is beautiful. Elon, I think we love you. But we're waiting impatiently for full self-driving beta to get to Canada. Please, please, please. How long must we wait? But this is great. Hats off to Jetta. Great product, well executed. And I do like the fact that we could always take out the 256 gig uh, flash card and replace it later on if we really need the extra space. So once again, thanks to Jetta for sending this to me. I did not pay for it in the interest of full disclosure, but I value it. If you want to get it right now, they still have that $25 discount available. There's a link in the description of this video. Uh, jump onto that. Use the discount code, get the $25 off. It's definitely worthwhile. And in the future, if you want to upgrade to a terabyte and uh, RAM has or SSD flash drive has become very inexpensive, you can open up the cover, take out the old card, put in a new one, and you've just upped your capacity. By the way, um, I, I dropped another music video a few days ago. And I feel fine anytime she's around me now. She's around me now, almost all the time. Uh, it was in response to a James Taylor covers challenge. He says, I challenge you to do a cover. Well, I could hardly walk away from a challenge like that. But I do realize that the majority of you, the vast majority, have no interest in music. Certainly not on my channel, which is a Model 3 channel. So what I'm thinking of doing, and drop me a comment below if you think this is a good idea, is just to create a second channel, Model 3 Man Music, or Music from Model 3 Man, and make that a separate channel, and you guys can subscribe to it if you like the idea of that. And then I'll regularly try and put some music videos that inspire and help you relax and help you just enjoy um, your COVID restrictions until they're all over. So if you think that's a good idea, please put it in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for those PayPal donations that keep coming in. I'm still saving for the MacBook Pro for this channel. Never had a portable editing device ever. It's about time. Um, so that's the goal. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The next episode is going to be another in our series of Tesla apps for your phone. So go and enjoy your weekend and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers for now.